Hi guys, let's fight cancer with vitamin C. Anyone that has cancer should be totally increasing their vitamin C count. That's what vitamin C does, it fights cancer. So this is a great drink here that I'm gonna show you how to make, really easy. Everything in it is loaded with vitamin C and vitamin E, also minerals like calcium and magnesium. These are all things that you really need to fight cancer. So first thing I have is, I think it was six oranges and three lemons that I juiced. So that's gonna go into my blender. Do as many as you like. There's no specific amount. If you do eight oranges and six lemons, it's fine. They're all loaded with vitamin C. So don't get stuck on measurements, guys. Just get these things into your body. So get some lemons and oranges and juice them. And ginger, ginger root is also loaded with vitamin C. So that's going in. And again, use as much ginger as you want. Do you remember them saying, I'm old school because I'm older? <laughs> and I remember in school they used to say, an apple a day will keep the doctor away. Apples are loaded with vitamin C. Not loaded, but they do have vitamin C in them. So an apple or two, whatever you decide. Another one loaded with a lot of vitamin C and vitamin E is avocados. So there's a couple avocados. I think it was three avocados. Use as many as you like again. It's up to yourself. Then I took some vitamin C chewable tablets and I crushed them up, like made them into a powder. I did six of them. I'm throwing them in. So last night I did a video on uh, hibiscus tea and rose hips with mullion. This is it. I strained it this morning and put it in the fridge. So it's beautiful. This is loaded with vitamin C. So we're going to add some of the hibiscus rose hip mullion tea. Oh, and there was elderberry in that too. So there we go. Now... I'm just going to blend this all up. I'm gonna add some monk fruit. It's very sweet. Monk fruit is 200 times sweeter in taste than sugar, but it's not sugar. It's a monk fruit. It's it's fruit. So I'm gonna add some monk fruit. It looks like sugar. See it? Very sweet tasting. So this is gonna sweeten things up. So I'm gonna add I don't know maybe two teaspoons. Love the monk fruit. It's a little expensive but it's really good for you. And then another thing I'm gonna add, these were both in my freezer, the monk fruit and the bee pollen. This is a spring fresh bee pollen, not dried. Bee pollen will give you a great amount of energy. So I wanna put some bee pollen in this so this smoothie becomes very energetic. Let's say I put two teaspoons in of the this was a spring bee pollen. There's spring bee pollen and summer bee pollen. Spring is the strongest in nutrients. So I'm gonna blend that up. Taking a mason jar, adding some ice to it. Now, 
Now you could strain this drink if you wanted to to get like, the fiber, but I don't want to strain mine. I want to keep everything in it. I prefer not to strain it. Pieces of orange in there. <laughs> I'm gonna just do it a little more. Now you sure could add some honey to this if you like. I'm not gonna bother adding honey, but you could add some honey if you like. So this is a beautiful smoothie that will fight cancer. You could add more things to it, like you could put some ginkgo biloba in it or some lion's mane for the brain. You know, play with it. Add whatever you want to it. Google and find out, do some research and find out foods that are high in vitamin C and start incorporating them into your body. Especially if you have cancer. I'm going to take a little taste. Oh, that was so good. So there it is. I might add a couple lemon wedges to it. But the sky is the limit, guys. Fight cancer with vitamin C. Do some research on that. It's amazing how vitamin C will kick the cancer out of the body. So remember that. Use vitamin C to fight cancer. Have a great day.